Hello and welcome to this video. We're taking a look at Trade Navigator and we're going to talk about how to get started with charting in Trade Navigator. So the first thing that you'll want to do is of course connect to your data provider. Um, I'm already connected here. You can see my green traffic light here is uh, has a green light on it, meaning I'm receiving real-time quotes here, in my case from Rhythmic. Now to get started with charting, of course, the first thing we want to do is open up a chart. So I'm going to do that by using the toolbar here. You can do it two ways. So we have the toolbar here, which has a few charting options. You can see with a blue uh, icon here with a white line through it. it, kind of looks like a line on closed chart. You can use that to open up a chart. Or we also have a uh, toolbar here that uh, you can see has a drop down menu for charts as well. And we have the new chart option there. I'm going to go ahead and just use the toolbar and we'll select new chart. And this is where we can uh, choose the symbol that we want to open up our chart for. So I'm just gonna type in here uh, ES, so we'll use the ES futures contract just as an example today, but you can see there are a lot of different options. So uh, in this case, I'm gonna pick the September contract and I'll go ahead and select OK. And then we have the option to adjust the settings for the new chart. So this is things like our bar period, or if we have any chart templates. Um, and uh, so just a few different options you could set up right off the bat. We'll leave it at daily here for now. You see we have other options, intraday options, as well as uh, daily, weekly, monthly, and longer. And so I'll select OK, and that should open up our chart here. You see I do have a chart open for the ES. And in this case, we have chose that daily chart option, or the default option, which is daily charts. And so we have uh, high -low, open high-low close bars here uh, for us. And you know I can do things like resize our chart, of course, just using the normal Windows methods. I can also uh, maximize our chart or uh, minimize our chart. And you'll see when I do maximize the chart that the uh, window options here as far as closing the window, maximizing it or, or minimizing it are in the upper right hand corner. Uh, so we can use those options to do that. Now say we didn't want to use these open high low close, close bars, we can actually choose other options like line on close or uh, candlesticks just by using the buttons in the toolbars. So you can see uh, we have the open high low close bar options here open here. I can choose things like candlestick bars if you prefer those or line on close bars here as well. And so I'm gonna choose candlesticks bars for now and uh, we'll stick with that. Now, one other thing I can do here, of course, is change things like the time period. We have the bar period uh, here as well in our toolbar. So I can choose uh, from a few preset options. Looks like anything from one to uh, all the way up to yearly charts. Uh, we also have some other options for higher minute time frames. Um, so we just have a few preset options. So you can see how this toolbar can be uh, pretty useful. Now, we don't have to use that toolbar necessarily. We can also right mouse click at any time within Trade Navigator. So if I right mouse click, we have a few different options here. One of those happens to be the bar time period. So we can see we're currently using daily, but if I were to switch to a five minute time frame, I can do that here. And you'll see that will update here for a five minute time frame. And of course, I can compress my chart uh, sideways here or uh, horizontally just by clicking and dragging here on our uh, horizontal axis. I can do the same here for our uh, vertical axis as well. And you see how that works. Um, now we can also, uh, of course, use our um, toolbar here to open up another chart. So we're not limited to just one chart. We can also open up a new chart. So for example, I'm currently looking at the ES, but I can also look at uh, maybe the NQ if I wanted to. So I'll just select a new chart option here and I'll bring up that familiar menu we just used. So opening up a new chart here and I can scroll down uh, to pick the uh, contract that I wanna choose, of course. So I'll choose again, the September contract and we'll choose another five minute chart. And you'll see that opened up. Now, um, we are looking at the NQ now. Um, if you notice, we now have two tabs at the bottom of our chart. So uh, at the bottom of Trade Navigator here, we can either choose between the NQ or the ES. So I can switch uh, kind of between those. And we also have some options as far as um, quickly arranging these windows. So if you notice, we have another toolbar option, which is tile or cascade all chart windows. If I click that, we have a few different options. We can maximize the chart like we are now with the tabs at the bottom left-hand corner. We can cascade the charts. Uh, so let's see what that looks like here. You can see it kind of puts them uh, one after the other. And if we had more charts, uh, of course, those would uh, continue on down or we can tile our charts and we have different options for the amount of rows that we wanted to use depending on how many charts we had open. So I'll select OK. And now we have the option here uh, to kind of view these side by side. Um, so there's a few different options as far as that goes. Uh, so you can see how that can be helpful. 
Now, another thing that we can do, of course, is uh, use this right mouse click menu, not only to uh, change those uh, bar time periods, but also that bar display type. So we had the open, high, low, close bars, close uh, line. Uh, we also have another option here, Bollinger bars, if we wanted to use that. Um, so all the things that we can do within that toolbar here, as far as the bars, we can also do within the right mouse click menu. So if we were talking about the uh, bottom panel here, we, we didn't want to have to select it and then go back up here to change it. Uh, you can actually just right mouse click here instead uh, to save yourself a little bit of time. So thank you for viewing this video here on uh, getting started with charting in Trade Navigator. If you do have any questions about Trade Navigator and charting or other questions about Trade Navigator, feel free to uh, give us a call or visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com.